Uh, hello, everyone. This is uh, Mihan Zhang from Washington University in St. Louis. Uh, today, I will present the paper on behalf of my friend, Jun Xian He, who is the first author of this paper. He cannot make it to Halifax due to the visa problem. This work was done when he was an uh, intern in CMU. In this work, our goal is to develop efficient correlated topic models with great representational power and highly scalable inference for practical employment. Two words, correlation and efficiency, can summarize our focuses, contributions. Next, I will talk about our motivations. First, why topic correlation? In the past years, topic model is very popular and effective as a statistical tool to extract the latent semantics from document collections. As shown here, the topic model is able to extract meaningful topics composed of words such as fossil, dinosaur, and evolutions. And these topics should be correlated. For example, a document about disease may be likely to also be about virus, while unlikely to be about finance. In the topic model framework, the evidence words should be similarly and heavily connected to both disease and virus topic, while almost unconnected to finance topic. Therefore, compared to independent topic modeling, topic model with topic correlation is able to fit data better and thus more expressive. On the other hand, Topic correlation also enables structural topic navigation, helping us explore large document collections in a topic manner. This figure illustrates an example. Points represent topics. Closeness of these topics re uh, reflect their correlations. Actually, this is a 10,000 topic result of our model from two million New York Times news articles in which we can see clear dependency structures among the large collection of topics and grasp the semantics of the massive text corpus. Secondly, why large scale? The previous correlated topic model directed models the pairwise correlation between topics, imposing very expensive computational cost. Despite its enhance the expressiveness and the resulting richer representations. Its practical applications has been unfortunately limited to hundreds of topics. Recent work, scalable correlated topic model improved the modeling and inference, but still limited to 1,000 topic scale. Such correlation methods are far, are far from uh, in, uh, such correlation, uh, such correlation methods are far from satisfying for the industry and stands in stark contrast to the recent development of LDA, which is able to handle one million topics. Therefore, we expect to derive a new efficient correlated topic modeling approach to support uh, industrial scale applications. Next, I will briefly review the related works. First, we will quickly review LDA and uh, illustrate the notations. In LDA, topic proportion vector theta is generated from Dirichlet prior. From topic pro proportions, we sample topic assignments and next generate the evidence words. However, the conjugate Dirichlet prior models topic occurrence almost independently and fails to capture the rich topic correlations. After LDA, Correlated topic model called CTM was proposed to address this issue. In this graphical representation of CTM, the bottom part Z, X, uh, Z, W, and Phi are the same as LDA, but uh, CTM replaces Dirichlet prior with logistic normal distribution. The topic weight vector is generated from Gaussian distribution where the covariance matrix sigma captures the topic correlations. However, such a pairwise manner results in its poor scalability. In CTM, the number of parameters in the covariance matrix grows quadratically with the number of topics, and parameter estimation for the full rank matrix 
can be inaccurate in high dimensional space. More importantly, frequent matrix inversion operations during inference lead to cubic time complexity, which has significantly restricted the model and the data scales. Next, I will introduce our, our model framework and intuitions which effectively reduce the time complexity of correlated topping model. Since the expensive computation of CTM derives from the Gaussian prior for topic weight vector eta, we expect to find other ways to generate eta. Model pairwise topic correlations indirectly and further reduce the complexity. Inspired by the recent word embedding ideas, we propose to embed, to embed topics into the low dimensional space and use their closeness in the embedding space to capture the correlations. To connect topics to documents and generate a topic weight vector, we also embed topic into the same vector space. Intuitively, closer distance between a topic embedding and a document embedding should indicate larger topic weight, and nearby topics, that is, highly correlated topics, tend to have similar weights in a document. Take the embeddings in the slides, for example. Their resulting topic weight vector is, is expected to look like this chart. Topic U1 and U2 are closer to, to document A, and thus are supposed to have larger weights. On the other hand, U1 and U2, U3 and U4 have similar weights respectively since they, have, they are closed in the vector space. Next, I will formalize this idea to graphical model representations. This is the graphical rep representation of our model. We use two Gaussian prior to generate the topic embedding and the document embedding respectively, and then we use their inner product as the mean value to sample topic weight vector. Through inner product, nearby topics in the vector space will have similar weights in the document. We model topic correlations through closeness of topic embeddings, avoiding the ex expensive co covariance matrix. Compared to previous pairwise correlation modeling, our topic modeling scheme is parsimonious with less parameters to estimate, achieving linear time complexity with respect to topic number. Interestingly, interestingly our method is intrinsically connected to conventional CTM model. If we marginalize out the document embedding variable A, we can obtain this equation recovering the pairwise topic correlation matrix with low rank constraint, where each element is just the closeness of respective topic embeddings. There is a table, so uh, there should be a row inverse uh, in front of the UUT. Uh, sorry for that. And uh, where each element is just the closeness of the respective topic embeddings coherent to the geometric intuitions. Here, we relate low-dimensional embedding learning with low-rank covariance decomposition and estimation. We assume a mean field family of variational distribution and adopt a variational inference to learn the model, aiming to maximize the evidence lower bound. To further speed up the inference, we exploit intrinsic sparsity in the modeling that is, a single document in the corpus usually has uh, about only a small number of topics, and a topic is typically characterized by only a few words in the large vocabulary. On the other hand, we use Monte Carlo estimator and the reparameterization trick to approximate the intractable expectation. For more detail, uh, technical details, you can refer to the paper of the authors. I will move to the experimental part in the next slide. In the experiment, we evaluate our model on three different sets, data sets, varying from 18,000 to 8.2 million documents. All experiments are run with 24 CPU cores, 
and we compare our approach to LDA, CTM, and scalable CTM, which was the last, uh, fastest, uh, fastest correlated methods before. Firstly we, firstly, we evaluate the topic modeling quality by measuring the performance of document retrieval. We use 20 news groups dataset. A, a retrieved document is relevant to the query document when they have the same class label. For LDA and CTM, document similarity is measured as the inner product of their topic proportions. And for our model, we use the inner product of document embedding vectors. The figure shows the retrieval results with varying numbers of topics. Our model obtains competitive performance with CTM, both of which capture topic correlations and greatly improve over LDA. It validates our goal that the proposed method has lower modeling complexity while at the same time is as accurate and powerful as previous complicated correlation models. Secondly, we evaluate the scalability of models. This table shows the training time on different net datasets with varying topic numbers. On small datasets like 20 news groups and uh, small models, all approaches uh, finish training in a reasonable time. However, with increasing number of documents and uh, latent topics, we see that the vanilla CTM model and its scalable version as CTM quickly becomes impractical, limiting their deployment in real-world scale tasks. By contrast, our proposed topic embedding method scales linearly with the topic sets and is capable of handling 100,000 topics on over 8 million documents, achieving a problem set several orders of magnitude larger than the previously reported largest results. Notably, even with added model power and increased extraction performance um, compared to LDA, our model only uh, imposes negligible additional training time uh, compared to LDA showing strong potential of our method for practical deployment of real-world large-scale applications as LDA does. In addition to uh, total running time, we also use convergence property to evaluate models' scalability. This figure shows the convergence curves on New York Times with 1,000 topics as training goals. Using similar time, our model converges to a better point than LDA does, while well, SCTM is much slower, failing to arrive convergence within the time frame. We finally evaluate the topic visualization performance of our model. I have shown you part of the visualization results at the beginning of this talk. This figure is 100,000 topic embeddings and their correlations on the PubMed dataset. Related topics are close to each other in the embedding space, revealing diverse substructures of themes in the collection. Our model discovers very meaningful structures, providing insights into the semantics underlying the large text corpora, corpora and the facilitating understanding of the large collection of topics. Okay, in conclusion, we developed a highly efficient correlated topic model which induces distributed vector representations of latent topics and possesses linear time complexity with, uh, in terms of model sets. We developed a new correlated topic model which induces distributed vector representations of latent topics. In the future, we expect to further speed up the model inference through variational neural base techniques for amortized variational updates across data examples. Thank you. Questions? <laughs>